Well, this is it. The final grocery shop of 2023. I cannot believe this year has come to an end. I have my two littles with me today. We're all very tired. Uh, and just trying to get the energy to actually do a grocery shop on a Saturday again before a holiday again. Our grocery shop isn't going to be huge this week, but we need to go to a few different stores for the appetizers for our New Year's Eve. Almost like Christmas Eve there. But New Year's Eve, we have appetizers. So uh, we don't have the freezer space for the Costco size boxes. And Superstore has some good ones, but not great ones. So I think we're going to go to Walmart for sure. And then maybe save on foods as well. All right. So the, earlier this week, I did make a quick um, shop to a couple of different stores, which I'll show you first off here. Um, just to pick up some supplies for my son's birthday. Um, and, uh, got to the market and got like the fruits and vegetables and whatnot. So I will start us off there and then continue on with what I picked up today for my final grocery haul of this year. Good. I know. Good. Right. <laughs> All right. From the market, pink lady apples, still $1.79 a pound. I also picked up a handful of Nicola apples because my husband said he really enjoyed them. The ones that, um, I didn't use for my summer pots. They're $1.99 a pound. Picked up two ruby red grapefruits. They are two for $1.50. And then a very small bag I picked uh, of the mandarin oranges. They are $1.89 a pound and this is it. There's no more there. The ones that are left are really gross. So I think that's it for the season for me. From Real Canadian Superstore, I picked up the two flavors of ice cream that we need for my son's ice cream cake, plus some light corn syrup for the fudge center. He asked to have some um, Reese peanut butter cups sprinkled, like kind of like a side to the ice cream cake. So that's what that bag is for. And then while I was at this Superstore, which is a different one than the one I go to, I found some mini chicken empanadas and my husband loves empanadas. So... $10 for this frozen box. From Costco for my son's birthday breakfast, picked up some chocolate milk. And then uh, with his, along with his breakfast, he wants strawberry and banana Nutella crepes. So some strawberries. These were very expensive, so I hope they taste good. They are $12 a carton. Then uh, Kirkland uh, Nutella. And then whipped cream for the top of the crepes. Then for his cake, needed some more chocolate and then whipping cream to make the fudge center. He wants salad for lunch. Isn't that great? He does. He wants salad. He said he needed some more romaine lettuce because we're pretty much completely out. Maybe one bowl of salad left. That's it. And then they had this cube of Havarti creamy cheese on sale. So I picked that up as well. All right, fridge and freezer products, starting with a real Canadian superstore. The only item I picked up from there is this maple barbecue chicken bites for our New Year's Eve. And then save on foods, mozzarella sticks, macaroni cheese bites, and my husband and middle son's favorite, bacon wrapped chicken. What? Walmart. Uh, mini quiche collection. My youngest son is very happy about that. Pizza bites, because I totally forgot to buy the pizza bites at uh superstore <laughs> then costco i went with this three pack of turkey meat it's a couple dollars more than the ham but because my kids aren't at school but my husband will be at work i didn't want the big bigger packages to go bad so um yeah i picked up the three pack i also got one butter, butter. cream <laughs> thank you thanks uh two of the four liter milk and then dill pickle chips i wasn't gonna buy anything from costco because of the freezer but these were on sale for $9 for this big box and a similar size box, small one like this, both from um, Savon and from Walmart were both $12. So much cheaper to get the bigger box. Just going to have to get some Christmas baking out of there to make some room for all this because I currently do not have room right now. Okay, everything else that I picked up from Real Canadian Superstore, I needed some more palm olive and thankfully it was on sale for $1.99. I picked up some strawberry lemonade for tomorrow evening. If you have not had the President's Choice lemonades, do yourself a favor. They're all absolutely delicious. Uh, puff wheat, a nice big bag of that, 400 grams, and I believe for $4. Cling wrap, uh, hoops, 
$1.75. Honey O's, my daughter picked uh, the President's Choice one versus the Cheerios version. She said they're better and thankfully, you know, they're still about 50 cents cheaper even when Cheerios is on sale. Okay, I picked up my bread from Superstore this week because we're just not going through bread with the kids not being in school. And these were $2.75 per loaf when you purchased two. Blackberry, Blackberry Sparkling Water from Western Family, which is Save on Foods. This was $4.50 a package. Moving on to Costco for produce, uh, a pineapple. So our friend's home that we went to last week on the 23rd, they had pineapple and it was so good. So I'm really hoping that this pineapple is delicious as well because, oh my goodness, that pineapple was what you dream a pineapple would taste like. So I'm wondering if it's just the right time of year. Uh, some more grapefruit because the mandarin oranges are gone and then some of jumbo blueberries from Peru. Last year, they were absolutely amazing. So I'm hopeful that they are great this year as well. This was $6, this was $8. Pickles, they do not have my normal brand right now at Costco. I don't know if they've just switched over to Mount Olive brand. I've never had Mount Olive before, but they're pickles. So hopefully you can't go too wrong. <laughs> $7, a large jar. Then peanut butter pretzels is back. And my two little kids begged me to get some. And I said an easy yes, because they're a nice snack. Um, I believe this was $10. We needed a lot of vitamins this week, so we got this chewable C. Um, this was $13. The D was on sale for $10, and the calcium and magnesium, um, $13 as well. Butter chicken, $10. Fig bar, $22. Boo, $22. Bio steel, my husband um, needs, legitimately needs some uh, electrolyte. Uh, replenishers for what he's doing right now so <laughs> it's much cheaper to pick them up at Costco and then Trex and my youngest son you know he's asked me if he can have one a week so we'll see uh, and then Starbucks winter blend it is still available it's still on sale for $20 for this big package so that makes it cheaper than a lot of the other coffees that are not Starbucks so gonna keep picking one up a week until it's gone I think Right now I have two in storage, so I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Last but not least, Walmart. I picked up three boxes of Sugar Crisp cereal to mix in with the plain puff wheat cereal. I did not plan to buy the Sugar Crisp brand. I was hoping to buy the equivalent of, the, um, of this cereal in the bag. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but Walmart used to sell cereals that were a different brand for cheaper price in bags. Anyways, they don't seem to sell them there anymore. So three for $9. Mini Wheats picked up the big 1.2 kilogram box for $9. Then this um, rainbow, <laughs> rainbow confetti cake. My daughter wants this kind for her birthday to go with her mermaid theme. Um, so I got two boxes because I want to make a three layered cake. Then for chips for New Year's Eve, we won't eat all of these in one night, but we'll have a variety, that's for sure. I picked up two bags of Zesty Doritos and one of the Tostitos rounds, three for $9. This um, eight pack of the Cheesies, this was, I believe, $7. And then Poppables, these, again, were three for $9. So we went with the sour cream and chive, honey barbecue, and white cheddar. Yummy, we don't have these very often. And they're really good. So we're looking forward to enjoying those. All right, that's it for me, 2023. It's a wrap, no more grocery shopping. I have to say that the crowds were not as bad as I thought they would be today, which is just amazing. My kids tolerated all going to all the stores really well. They behaved well. And it wasn't that bad out there. Like Costco was pretty good. It was like, uh, the level of busyness would be compared to a normal weekday, not a Saturday and definitely not right before a holiday. So that is great. I don't know if people are out traveling or if they just thought, nope, I'm going to do it during the week and not on the weekend. I don't know. But all the stores we went today were really busy, but not too busy. It wasn't chaotic, which is just so nice because I'm, I'm tired. And when you have to go to multiple stores and fight the crowds and wrangle children, you can come back just absolutely depleted. 
and that wasn't the case today and I'm just really grateful because now I have to put all this away and I just want to enjoy the rest of my day as well. I ended up just taking out a little bit of baking from my freezer but besides that like the ginger molasses cookies everything fit in there well. I just had to rearrange. I did toss a couple of items that were like a little bit older but not very much. So New Year's Eve appetizers are stored and are going to do well in the freezer and then also my Christmas baking is still in there too so that's nice it's a win-win. I do not have the final totals for you guys this week unfortunately sorry about that but throughout the grocery haul this week I ended up um, also purchasing items for my daughter's birthday. I don't normally do that with them with me but we were out and about and she saw some things that she liked like a theme and I was at a store that was further away from where I normally shop. And just with time and everything, I thought, you know what? I am just going to purchase them now. So I picked up the items for her. She's going to have a mermaid theme. I uh, picked up the bulk of it at Real Canadian Superstore and then topped up with uh, Dollarama and Party City. So we are set for her with that. Just have to pick up any other items that I need for her uh, for her food that she chooses to have on her birthday, but I will do that um, next week and you will see that on my on my next video. Well, everyone, Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you so much to all of you who have subscribed and commented and watched my videos this past year. I hope that you have a great New Year's and great New Year's Eve if it's not New Year's Day already by the time you see this video. But my hope for 2024 is that we would all have a year of rejuvenation. Health, finances, the economy, and the environment have all taken big hits in the past three years. So I'm really hopeful that 2024 we can recover so much that we have lost and that we will just be renewed with a new uh, sense of hope for the future. All right, everyone, happy new year.